Hello and welcome to our channel. Now in this video, we'll tell you how the cast of 1994 The Mask has changed. I'll show you what they looked like back then in 1994 and now in 2022 how they changed compared to when they were in this movie. Alright, let's go. Cameron Diaz in the movie she plays Tina Carlyle, Tyrell's beautiful and charming girlfriend, also attracted to Stanley. In 1994, she was 22 years old and now she's 50 years old. As I was saying about that tie, kind of reminds me of one of those, what do you call it, um, ink blot tests. A Rorschach test. Right. When you do something at a really high level for a long period of time, mm -hmm. you know, you're there. there's a lot that when you're the person who's sort of delivering. Jim Carrey in the movie, he plays Stanley Ipkiss, a polite, kind, unlucky everyday banker who is mistreated and taken advantage of by everyone. In 1994, he was 32 years old and now he's 60 years old. Masks we wear. That's correct, Wendy. We all wear masks, metaphorically speaking. You're in town, and you don't call me. <laughs> <laughs> not an email! No, not Peter Green in the movie, he plays Dorian, a mafia officer who wants to overthrow his superior, Nico. In 1994, he was 29 years old, and now he's 57 years old. So first we take the bank, then we take Nico, and then my friend's school is out. And this whole city is our playground. <laughs> An actor, but, it, but he, his forte was, was writing. No, he's a great actor too. He jumped, he was the last person to commit suicide. In, uh... Peter Rickard in the movie, he plays Lieutenant Mitch Calloway, a somewhat cynical police detective lieutenant who pursues Mask, Terrell, and Nico throughout the film. In 1994, he was 47 years old, and now he's 75 years old. I broke in and attacked Mrs. Peenman. You didn't hear anything? She unloaded a couple of rounds of 20 odd buckshot five feet from your door. Because you can tell, uh, yeah, I, mean, I started in the theater, so the only people who stopped me were the people who saw the play. Right. So the odds were weirder. Richard Jenny in the movie, he plays Charlie Shoemaker, Stanley's best friend. In 1994, he was 37 years old, and sadly, he passed away on March 10, 2007, at the age of 49. And hit Frappe. You don't need her, man. You need somebody a little more down to earth. Somebody with some integrity. Somebody with red hair. They have three, four minutes of show where somebody isn't pissed off at me. <laughs> Michael Jackson is the only thing in America that you can make fun of without pissing somebody. Amy Yasbeck in the film, she plays Peggy Brandt, a reporter. In 1994, she was 32 years old, and now she's 60 years old. Last. You're Mr. Nice Guy? <laughs> yes! Oh, Stanley, do you realize how much mail we got about that letter? I mean, there are literally hundreds... My husband passed away in 2003 from an undiagnosed and then sadly misdiagnosed in an emergency setting, uh, aortic dissection. Ben Stein in the movie, he plays Dr. Arthur Newman, a psychologist who told Stanley about the mask is the work of Loki. In 1994, he was 50 years old, and now he's 78 years old. Wood. What's your book? My book is about masks as a metaphor, Mr. Epkus. A metaphor, not to be taken literally. Teaching about law, yeah. teaching economics, teaching about the political culture of movies and television shows. And above all, Orestes Matasina in the movie, he plays Nico, Tyrell's boss and owner of Coco Bongo. In 1994, he was 54 years old and now he's 81 years old. Come on. And uh, when uh, when uh, Doran is you know, the, the scene with Doran and me that we start talking to each other, okay? I, I walk out, you know. Rack E. Kathy in the movie, he plays Freeze, one of Terrell's henchmen and his loyal friend. 
In 1994, he was 36 years old, and sadly, he passed away at his home in New York City on February 9th, 2018, at the age of 59. I've seen his grift, man. Get real, man. Everything is his grift. He owns you, he owns this club, he owns this whole stinking town. Race. Yes. It really pops out yes. to hear this black woman saying to this monster who's being portrayed by a white man, yeah. talking. Jim Duggan in the movie he plays Doyle, Calloway's slightly incompetent partner. In 1994, he was 35 years old and now he's 63 years old. Nightcap. What I got is probable cause. A couple of your boys were spotted knocking over Red City Bank. Hey, easy, Junior, give me a word of you. And one of them was wearing a... Dennis Forrest in the movie he plays Sweet Eddie, one of Tyrell's henchmen. He was 34 years old in 1994, and sadly, he died suddenly from a major stroke in Los Angeles on March 18, 2002 at the age of 41. Thanks for watching the whole video. If you like this video, please share it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to support us in producing the next videos.